We are live out east in Sag Harbor. Joining us now, Wes Eden, Fortress Investments Group co-founder, New Fortress Energy founder and CEO, and co-owner of the NBA's Milwaukee Bucks, as well as English soccer team, Aston Villa. Wes, it's so great to have you here. Well, thanks for having me, Morgan. Great to um, be here. So much to talk about. But first, I, I do want to start a little more macro to start, because we, we have seen yields jump higher, test the October lows. You're seeing some more signs that credit is tightening right now. Uh, and yet, data largely resilient or yeah. good, but not too good. Yeah, surprisingly resilient, I would say. You know, you expect you know, all the interest rate uh, you know, hikes that would have a bigger impact than they've had, I think. And um, there's a lot of debate if this is the, you know, the kind of a, a pause or they're going to go higher from here. But I think the economy has held up stronger. I think as long as employment stays robust, I think you're in a pretty good place. That would be the, the telltale that I would really look at for things to really change. But it's, uh, it's a pretty complicated time. Yeah, I, I, mean, I guess just to get your sense of the credit picture right now, too, because we've seen bank credit tightening, um, but you've also seen a lot of, it seems to be the moment for private credit and non-bank lenders as well. Yeah, you know, the, uh, really since the crisis in 07, 08, you know, there's been a huge move towards private credit generally. So banks, I think, have like lowered their impact on lending. They still lend in products like credit cards and on, on things like that, but a lot of it has gone into the private markets already, and it's only going to accelerate. I think it is actually the, the next phase of the private credit uh, markets, and it's likely to be you know, a huge move. Yeah, and of course, you have your hands in a number of projects already, and I'm going to get into all those in a little more detail here in just a moment. But is this an opportunity right now for you? You look around the landscape uh, and you look across different industries. Is this an, an investing opportunity? You know, the best investments that we've made for the most part have been uh, during troubled periods and uh, higher interest rates, you know, instability of, you know, capital markets, financings can actually lead to really good opportunities, uh, kind of the inverse of what you might expect. And so I do think there could be some real distress with these higher rates. You know, if you have a, an apartment house that was financed at 3% and now it's being refinanced at 8%, you know, that's a real problem for the owner. And those are the kind of things that lead to good opportunities. But um, we don't see real defaults and real credit uh, exposure yet. But it would be something that if that did occur, I think can be a great investment environment. All right, let's shift gears. Let's talk about energy, New Fortress. Yeah. Uh, ended the day higher. You had earnings earlier this month. Um, it, you're at a pivot point here in terms of all the investment and all the capital you spent on, on bringing all of this new capability online. Now it starts to pay off. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the 10-year uh, the overnight sensation. Uh, so we've, uh, we've built about $7 billion in infrastructure. We have about three and a quarter billion dollars what we've built that literally turns on in the next 30 days. So every day for me is kind of a whack-a-mole as we're going through the end of these construction projects. But, you know, for the company to take all those assets and take them from construction to revenue producing is a massive difference. It generates, those assets will generate more than a billion dollars in revenues, you know, starting in, in the next you know, quarter or so. So it's a huge, huge moment for us and a really exciting time for the company. What does it do to the LNG picture globally? Uh, you know, the LNG picture globally is just a super interesting one. You know, there's about 400 million tons in production globally. Uh, they think that may have doubled with all the announced projects. Hmm. But the problem is most of that stuff doesn't start for three, four, five years from now. So this gap period, the next two or three years, I think, is a huge window of opportunity if you happen to be long gas, long production, which we are. But really, it's, it's not a, a market uh, a bet for us. It's really about trying to find, get a supply of gas get customers on the other side and connect the dots in the middle. And, you know, so many people are really, you know, poor resourced with energy. You know, I use the example all the time. I mean, people in Jamaica use 10% as much electricity as you, as I, you and I do. People in Kenya use 10% as much electricity as Jamaicans. So the big picture is the world is desperately short of affordable energy, and we're doing our part to try and connect those dots. Yeah, I remember talking to you last year uh, as Russia was invading Ukraine, and you were like, we got the infrastructure because Europe was facing this energy crunch, this yep. energy crisis, and you said, we've got the infrastructure, we can do the fast LNG, we can bring this stuff online pretty quickly. Yep. How's that going? Uh, first one is in the water, so it's pretty exciting. 5.4 million man hours later, it's three platforms. One of them is actually literally in the water in the Gulf of Mexico on site. The second one goes out on Monday. The following one comes out the following week. So really, by about this time next month, we expect they'll all be connected and producing. And we've got a couple projects right behind that, so we think uh, you know, it's a huge, huge uh, victory for us. And uh, our guys have worked so hard on this, and it's now just in the last stages of it. It's exciting. Now, I realize New Fortress is not um, necessarily tied to the price of natural gas prices, yep. but your thoughts on that? Um, I think, you know, I'm a big bull on natural gas generally. I think it is the transition fuel in the world. And, you know, we all want renewables and zero energy. And on a day like today where the sun's not shining out here, you, know, you need something else to kind of kick in. So you need cheap and affordable long-term thermal power 
to then complement all the, the renewable stuff. And so I, I'm a big bull on natural gas. The U.S. is blessed with vast resources of it, and now it's getting connected to the world markets through the LNG you know, process. So I think it's, uh, it's an amazingly positive development for the country.